What is up guys, my name is Jordan the Giant Kassad and today I am unboxing WrestleCraig. Alright, today we got WrestleCrate here. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about this box this month. I think it has two shirts. I think, I think. I think they said that. If it wasn't them, it was WrestleCrate UK. All right, so we open it right here, and I think I do see two shirts. Uh, WrestleCrate, I don't think it's been very good lately. Uh, all I know is that I've been gearing, I, it's only two months in, and that WrestleCrate's already been way better. Uh, so I might be losing, ditching uh, WrestleCrate pretty soon. Uh, and then WWE, uh, Loot Crate's coming out, Slam Crate, so that one, I don't know, we'll see. Let's see, well the first shirt here is Viper Ale, uh, made in Out of Nowhere USA. Sorry, I forgot it. So yeah, that shirt's extremely ugly. I wouldn't wear this ever, personally. And it says WrestleCrate.com down here. Uh, so I don't like that either. Uh, it's like a cheap uh, way to be like, hey, WrestleCrate. I have a WrestleCrate t-shirt. If I wanna support them that much, I'll wear the t-shirt, which I actually do very often, but yes. And I just won't wear this. If it said Viperville, maybe. Uh, or made in Viperville, USA, yeah. That would be kind of cool. Uh, but yes, it's kind of a boring t-shirt. There's two t-shirts, so maybe the other one's better. Uh, so, it's light blue. I like light blue. Uh, this is the third wrestling box in a row I've gotten a light blue t-shirt, which isn't a big deal because I look good in light blue, right? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, I followed. It says Bray Wyatt, I'm assuming. That's an ugly t shirt. I won't wear this one either. Personally, I followed. No. Nope. I w this is uh, a t shirt I'd wear. Uh, let's say I. it's probably going to be the last t shirt before I do laundry. Yes. Maybe that one. No, I like the, the other one more than this one, so we'll see you there. Alright, next item is Ring of Honor 14th Anniversary from February 26th to 2016. We got Jay Lethal uh, versus Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. And then uh, War Machine versus All Night Express, The Bullet Club, which is Kenny Omega and the Young Bucks versus ACH, Matt Seidel and Kushida, and then uh, Okada versus Moose. Moose is in TNA, what an idiot. Uh, Briscoe versus Michael Elgin and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Alex Shelley versus Christopher Daniels. Dalton Castle versus Haruku, Haruki Goto. Uh, BJ Whitmer versus Adam Page. And uh, Tomohiro Ishii versus Roderick Strong versus Bobby Fish. Roderick Strong is awesome. He's going to NXT with him, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this looks like a good card. Uh, I'll check it out. <laughs> All right, I hate this chair you hear it. All right, let's see. We got a coaster, Roman Reigns. Oh, I can punch you now. Uh, this coaster, it's cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing uh, like the next couple months being more coasters, like have a set that will maybe all three of the shield. Uh, I don't know. That'd be cool. Maybe a shield on the fourth, so it's like four. Three isn't a real set of coasters, you need four. So I like that. That's a cool item. If I do see that they're going to do a set, I'll make sure I finish WrestleCrate through the set at least. Uh, so yeah, that's nice. I like that a lot. Actually, I saw Glenn Webb's last, vi one of his last videos before he passed away, sadly. Uh, he did WrestleCrate UK and got that, I'm pretty sure. All right. The next item is Ari Davari. I think it's Aria Davari. He's in the Cruiserweight Classic. This guy. It's the younger Davari brother. Uh, yeah. That's cool. It's on the floor now. I'll pick it up sometime. <sighs> this is the last item. This guy blocked me on Twitter yesterday. That's lame. 
this box wasn't very good. This is the first time I've actually opened a Russell Crate and was like, wow, I didn't get my money's worth. Uh, so yeah. Let's do a value, because maybe I'll change my mind. $40 shipped about for this box. So, we'll start from backwards. Worth nothing now, but uh, if I was being, like if you'd go to a show, I'd say maybe, maybe $10. That's what you pay for that. Same, so there's $20. I wouldn't pay $10 for this or $10 for that. So, to me, it's worth nothing. Uh, now, t-shirts, any website, $25. This is a $5 t-shirt. I would never pay more than that. So, let's just uh, value it the way I would value it. This is another $5 t-shirt. So far, 20 bucks. I would pay for this box. Two bucks and fifteen dollars so out forty dollars shipped so forty dollars that's about how much this box is worth to me so I guess that's okay I apologize for the jump cut uh, but yes I would not pay I'm, oh, I did pay actually I paid forty dollars for this box but if I was told that all that stuff was going to be in the box, I would not pay that much money. Uh, the autographs were worthless. The t-shirts are worthless. The coaster is kind of cool. Uh, and the DVD, I would probably end up won't. I probably won't watch it, let's be honest. But, uh, in Mystery Crates, uh, part of the money I like to spend for them is the mystery. So, I didn't know that this box was going to suck. So, that helps a little bit. So, yeah. But Wrestle Crate's usually very good, so I'm expecting like an amazing box every month, especially when you do elites. But then last month or the month before, they put a shitty ass Ring of Honor figure in it, and that disgusted me so much that I almost unsubscribed. Or no, I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. It's a $25 figure, but still, those figures suck asshole. But anyways, next month, no, the next October, they have an exclusive figure in their box, and I'm assuming it's going to be a Pop Funko, because about a year ago they told me that they were going to have a Pop Funko in their box, so I'm assuming that in October is an exclusive Funko Pop, and if I want to go ahead and uh, say who I think it might be, it might be an AJ Styles Funko Pop, so that would be cool. Uh, the reason why I say that is because they said phenomenal exclusive figure when they were hinting at it, so that's the reason to stick with Russell Crate after this box. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I know that about Wrestle Crate. I know that Wrestling Crate is going to have a good box next month, so you might want to subscribe to them too. Uh, so, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got this box, let me know what you thought down below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right underneath me. There's a button, it's red. It says subscribe on it. You press that, and you'll get updates for all my future videos and my brother's future videos and our combined Super Cassat Bros videos. So, guys. Go hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and please come back for more. Oh, and comment, because I like to read those things right now.